In today's tutorial, we're going to check out a great new screen capture and annotation tool from Microsoft called Snip. To download Snip, you'll go to mix.office.com slash snip, or you can just search out Microsoft Snip in Google, and then come over and click on the download button. The install was really fast and easy. Once Snip is installed, if you go up to the top middle portion of your screen, this little uh, set of utilities is hovering at the top there, and it will allow you to capture your screen, go to a whiteboard that you can mark up and create your video with, uh, kind of a, you know, Khan Academy style, or fire up your camera and have it take a picture. So let's go ahead and illustrate this with an example. I'm going to use the capture function and I'm going to capture part of this screen where I'm going to explain a little bit about how the rounding function works. So I can come in here and I can use annotation tools and a, a stylus can be a big help here. So I'm going to use a stylus to write on the screen and illustrate my example of the formula and then I'm going to go ahead and record over that so I can talk about it. The rounding function in Excel uses the word round so we're going to go into a cell in this case we're actually this formula here is entered in cell C4 here and the formula is round left parenthesis you want to reference the cell and row, so I'm sorry I cut off the row counters here, but this is cell um, column C, row 4, so C4, and I put a comma 1 to say I want it rounded to one decimal place, and we can see that that's what it did. It rounded 1.12 to one decimal place. I'm going to stop my recording, and now I can play it back. Talk about it. The rounding function in Excel uses the word round, so we're going to go into a cell. In this case, we're actually this four. So there you hear it playing back, and it's super easy then to create a link or to embed this, to email it somewhere, or to just save it as an MP4. So if I hit save, it's going to save it off as an MP4. I can name it what I want, rounding Excel, and it's going to save that down as an MP4, but they also give you some easy functions to use to be able to share it via an email. Um, you do have to create a Microsoft account if you're going to just use this to directly share or send links, whereas if you save it as an MP4, you can then send it out directly or do whatever you want to do with it, and it's really that easy. And remember, you can also use it in whiteboard mode, so you do not have to be um, drawing over a screenshot. You can just come in here and start drawing on your own. You can also use the camera, take a picture, hello, and come in and, you know, uh, draw on that as you see fit. So that's it. So there it is, the new SNP tool for Microsoft Windows. Download it and give it a try today.